Hi, welcome to East Baptist Church. Believe it or not, those words have been spoken for the last 125 years. As men and women and boys and girls from a whole variety of backgrounds and situations have gathered to worship our Lord Jesus Christ. They gather to sing, to pray, to hear the Word of God preached, and to be built up by the Spirit of God so that they can face their daily tasks and lives. As we trace the history of East Baptist Church, we see that for the last 125 years, year after year, East Baptist Church of Lynn, Massachusetts has sought to be faithful to the great commission of our Lord Jesus Christ to radically change lives. We have sought to be about our master's business here in Lynn. We read from scripture, therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And it has been our testimony for the last 125 years that God has been with us. Tonight we're going to take a walk through time, through the past 125 years to be exact, tracing the hand of God through the history of East Baptist Church. I'd like to take you back to that first meeting, April 14th, 1874. A formal meeting was held in the vestry of the Free Baptist Church, at which it was voted to ask for letters of dismission from the High Street Baptist Church in order to organize ourselves into a Church of Christ to be located in the easterly section of the city. One week later, April 21st, 1874, the church was regularly organized by 65 persons, 64 of whom were from the High Street Baptist Church. The Articles of Faith, prepared by the Reverend J. Newton Brown, D.D., were adopted at this meeting and a call extended to Reverend John S. Holmes to become our pastor. As we begin our visual walk through time, I'd like to take us back a hundred years to our 25th anniversary and start from there. That evening, the pastor was Reverend E. A. Hayner. I'd like you to hear his address to the congregation. The Church of Jesus Christ is distinguished from its utility. It is the right arm of God on earth, reaching out to encircle and shield the endangered sons of Adam. It is God's lighthouse on the surf beaten shore, showing the tempest-driven sons of the sea of life the way into the peaceful harbor. It is God's life-saving crew, rushing to rescue those engulfed in the dark waves of iniquity or dashed upon the rocks of error. It is God's fire company, bringing the water of salvation to put out the fires of sin.
We hope that you enjoyed our brief walk through time, through the past 125 years of God's faithfulness to East Baptist Church. No doubt, as you viewed this video, you saw faces of familiar friends and family members, people with whom you prayed and worked. It is our prayer that if the Lord tarries, that he gives us another 125 years of caring and sharing, of praying and preaching the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ until he comes. Indeed, as we look back, we say, to God be the glory, great things he has done.